Hey, it's Rebecca here from Precious Pages Papercraft and today I am playing along with Sketch Saturday with Yana and I'm going to be scrapping a Christmas photo using the Simple Stories Jingle All The Way collection. I faffed about quite a bit at the beginning because I couldn't decide on a patterned paper. I initially picked out this floral one because the red and yellow colours matched perfectly with the colours on our matching Christmas Eve pyjamas. Um, but it was a bit busy for me. I'm not really one for using busy papers for backgrounds. So then I thought I'd try it with black and wasn't happy either and I kept trying different papers. I was also considering some mixed media in the background and was hoping to use those gold Nouveau drops. So I just tested it on a bit of scrap paper there but you couldn't really see it. So I got rid of the black and decided to stick with the white but I'm still trying to decide on a paper and in the end I settled for this one so although it's still quite busy because it has a lot of um, like white space on it I felt a bit more comfortable using it so I'm just going to tear a large section to go down the left hand side of my page there just like on Yana's sketch And it's just going to sit like that and on the sketch Yana's got loads of um, different circles so I've used uh, just a metal nesting die set on a handheld um, die cutting machine just to cut some circles from different patterned papers in the collection you can see my little boys come over to have a play as well those scrap pieces of patterned paper to the side there um, where I've cut the circles from. I've kept those because I'm going to use them as layers behind my photo. So I'm just distressing the edges with my scissors and then I'll build up some layers. Whilst I'm just busy distressing all my edges here, if you aren't aware of Yana's sketch series or haven't seen it, I really recommend you have a look. Um, she's on YouTube and on Instagram. And every Saturday she posts a new sketch that she's designed herself and she'll have a process video um, of her creating her layout to go with the sketch. And they're not the most difficult of sketches. Obviously you can make them as difficult as you want and add to them and interpret them how you wish. But if you wanted to just stick closely to the sketch, they're actually quite easy and simple to do. So if you're new to scrapbooking, they're probably ideal for you um, to have a play with and to find your feet. I'll pop the links to Yana's Instagram and YouTube below in the description box but I really do recommend you um, have a look at her sketches because I really enjoy doing them. I haven't managed to do all of them yet there's a few I've kind of left out and need to go back to but I definitely do um, look forward to seeing them pop up on my YouTube notifications every Saturday. I didn't get round to making this layout last night because I was a busy um, with another DT project. So I woke up this morning and came out into my craft room in my pyjamas and uh, got straight to creating this. So I decided I wanted a darker paper to contrast against my strip of um, kind of like florally paper. So I've gone for this black and red checked paper and I just want a little bit peeping out the side there. Um, just to bring some darker tones to the layout because my photo is quite dark and I'm just sticking those down with double sided tape. Putting some craft foam behind my photo just to prop it up from the page a bit. I like to have a lot of dimension on my layouts. Um, where I've used those um, off cuts of patterned papers behind my photo it's already got quite a lot of dimension. Um, so I've just done the one layer of foam and normally I'd be tempted to add foam behind those circles I've cut out but I didn't on this one. I'm just going to use double sided tape to stick them all down.
So that is pretty much the backbones of my layout done. On the sketch, I think Jana's got her title to the bottom right of the photo and just a couple of small embellishment clusters um, on diagonal corners. So I was stuck with pretty close to the sketch so far. And I'm using those um, Simple Stories foam stickers for my title. Um, my husband hates Christmas Eve because I always make us put our matching pyjamas on and have a mini photo shoot and uh, it's usually quite difficult to get him to smile in them so I thought Be Merry was quite a funny title. I've pulled out some of the chipboard pieces there, I've got a couple of houses and a Christmas tree and I'm just going to work my way through all the bits and pieces I've got from this collection. So I've got the foam stickers, the chipboard pieces, the bits and pieces ephemera pack, the journal pack, uh, the element stickers and I've got the sticker book. So I'm just working my way through picking out bits and pieces that will go. I really like those chipboard houses um, and seeing as we spent Christmas at home I thought they worked well with the layout. I've used the green one to the right because there was already quite a lot of red with my title. So just trying to distribute the colours a bit more evenly. Um, because there was a lot of red on the left, I tried this sticker of a house as well, but it was more of a kind of minty green, which doesn't appear anywhere else in my photo or layouts. It, um, I didn't think it was going to work. So I've gone back to the red one. And then I'm just picking out some smaller bits to pop on my layout got a little tab there that says Christmas Eve and that bit, floral bit I've just stuck down there was um, from the ephemera pack that I've just um, I've obviously used part of it on another layout and had this bit left and it worked perfectly there just to slot behind that house I'm just working my way around sticking everything down now and I'm just using PVA glue for most of it um, and these foam pads so in the sticker book there, you've got all of these lovely um, word stickers. So I picked out several. I've got uh, My Merry Wish, sorry, no, My Christmas Wish, Santa Squad, uh, Decked Out for the Holidays and Waiting for Santa. I'd also picked another one out. Um, I think it said Here Comes Santa. But because I was trying to alternate the colours and I'd started with green, it meant that I was going to have Waiting for Santa and Here Comes Santa um, next to each other, which I kind of thought didn't work. So I've popped Here Comes Santa back and I've gone with uh, Waiting for Santa because these photos were taken on Christmas Eve just before my little boy went to bed. So we were waiting for Santa to bring our presents. And I wasn't sure about this um, journaling piece at the top. It says holiday cheer, but I thought it made the layout look a bit too heavy at the top. So I opted against that one. But I did want to add some mixed media. So I've got a gold um, shimmery acrylic paint there. And I'm just mixing it with a bit of water to add some paint splatters. And I do find that gold works really, really well with this collection. So um, I had to get a bit of gold in there. And finally, um, I'm using those Nouveau drops I had earlier. I'm going over the white berries to make the berries gold. And I'm going to add some gold polka dots to the heart ephemera on the top right of my photo there. It's already got darker red heart dots, so I'm just going over them with gold. And that's my layout completed. So thank you very much for joining me today. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and to Yana's if you don't already. Um, I'll leave you with the close-ups and if you do play along please remember to tag Yana with hashtag, I can't speak, hashtag Sketch Saturday with Yana.